Hi, I'm Silvio. Comments. Comments are vital for this channel. Without the comments, I cannot be aware if I'm making mistakes, if I'm going the wrong direction. Without your comments, I just can't suppose things, I can imagine things. And those things are far from being the perfect content you are searching for. Only with your comments, I can bring you more useful content for everyone. And precisely this little and quick tutorial comes from one of your comments. Thank you. Hi guys, some days ago I had a comment asking for a detailed tutorial on how I do all my paintings. At first I was a little shocked, simply because all along my Christmas Village series you have seen me doing it many times. But then I realized that yes, you have seen me doing it, but always at warp speed. So now I will try to do it uh, slowly. More precisely, I will try to make a wall starting from a row piece of uh, styrofoam, and then I will uh, uh, carve the pattern into it, and then I will paint. Uh, layer after layer. Let's uh, take a look to what I will use. Obviously the styrofoam, then an old mini uh, soldering station that I used to carve into the uh, styrofoam, some acrylic colors starting from uh, dark shades up to uh, lighter shades finishing with white, some water because the first layer will be done not with just uh, acrylic color, but a mixture of uh, water and acrylic color and some brushes. Mm, okay, first thing first, I need to have a pattern on the wall. Let's design the pattern. The pattern, <clears throat> let's go with, I think this is, uh, yes, 10 centimeters, or uh, let's do this way, no, maybe this way. Okay, no, uh, let's go with this way. Sorry for the delay. Uh, let's say uh, two. 4, 6, 8, and then 10. Same thing from this other side. 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 10. Let's have some straight long lines here. 1, 2, 3, and four. Okay. Then uh, let's say yes, we have twenty two centimeters. Yes, let's say three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, and then the last one twenty two. Same thing here in with the up uh, three. 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Then, for the pattern, yes, no, yes, no, yes, and so on for the first part. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, and again. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. Tedious, but I don't need to do it. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. Another one. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. This one too. Okay. Yes, no, yes, no. And then yes. 
I still need some other patterns. Let's say the middle of three should be one of the half if I'm correct. Okay. Here and then three each time. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Uh, 1.5 and then 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. This uh, you already understood the technique. No, yes, no, yes. No, yes, no, yes. No, yes, no, yes. No, yes, no, yes. This one too. No, yes, no, yes. No, yes, no, yes. And finally, no, yes, no, yes. And here we have the wall pattern. Now, let's carve into the wall. Let's bring my soldering station here. Obviously, I can go and free uh, like this and this, but I prefer to do it with my um, aluminium ruler. Okay, firstly with the straight long lines, let's go, okay, one, two, Three and final one four here. Let me just do a couple and the three. This one and, and this one and so on. If you want to go and the three. It all depends if you want a rough look or a precise look. Generally I uh, <coughs> do uh, straight long lines with my ruler and then the opposite lines and the free. Now I will use the same technique for both horizontal and vertical lines. Okay, tedious, long, I know, sorry, but if I have to do a detailed tutorial on how I do a wall, this is how I start a wall. Okay, this one, this one, this one, I hope you can see it correctly. I don't know. I always have doubt when uh, filming something, especially in this kind of tutorial where if I mm, do something wrong, I have to restart it from scratch. Let's cross the finger. Okay, this one. Voila. Some more here and then this one and the last two here done this is the uh, pattern I want I can't see nothing right now let's switch off the soldering station anymore 
Now, first a layer of uh, painting. I always start uh, with the darkest color. Here we have some black and I use it uh, um, mixed with water, a very different color because uh, I will need the color to fill all the gaps. Let's go with the uh, first black layer. I have some water in there. Let's add some black acrylic color. Okay. I forgot some paper. And here I have the paper. Sorry for letting you wait. Okay. The paper. Absolutely uh, important. I don't want to have a mess on the table. Let's mix the color and the water. Okay. All right. I think it's good. Let's start the painting. I always uh, do all my uh, layers horizontally and just the final uh, one will be done vertically the white dry brush layer but when I first start if needed because I need to fill all the gaps I will also go uh, vertically in this case I in this case I need to go also vertically you have just seen that, otherwise the vertical gaps won't be filled. Okay, I go both ways. This is uh, vertical. Okay, some more color. I don't need to be precise. This is the layer that is used to define the darkest shadows so these uh, will not be precise as the other layers it's just a matter of time absolutely anonymous and awful uh, wall until now this is a necessary stage but uh, visually is absolutely awful and let's try to fill the maximum of the gaps Um, certainly you will have uh, some music in the background right now otherwise it, it, every time I'm quiet it does not often happen that I am quiet but otherwise um, you will be so bored that you will start yawning and yawning and yawning and forgive me for that Okay, I'm almost done with the first layer. Then I will have to wait some long minutes before doing the second layer. Let's have it done, another one.
Okay. Sorry if some more white gaps are still present, I need to be quick this time. Not as quick as in my previous videos, I hope not. Okay, now I just have to wait for the paint to dry. I will brush all my... no, just the only, uh, the only brush I've used, I will wash it, I will uh, throw away this mixture, I won't be using it uh, in the future. Okay, see you in, uh, I don't know, minutes, hours, days, years, I don't know. Now, I think the first layer is dry. Oh, not completely, but uh, let's go anyway. Let me bring in the container some paper. Next uh, layer will be a, a grey layer. Let me pour some color here. Now I can take my brush. Here we go. And I never do directly from the color to the wall. I will try to do an almost dry brush. Not completely dry because I use a lot of color, but I come here to the paper, I do this, then I start painting the wall, horizontally, of course. Now the first layer is done, I will go <laughs> horizontally. Okay. I always try to use the minimum of color possible because I want those little shades of black to be visible uh, when I apply the gray. Of course I'm wasting a lot of color but this is the way I generally do it. This is the way I do it, not the perfect way, not the absolute way, and I'm not uh, a god. So um, this is the way I found um, more suitable for all my uh, paintings. You can start seeing the difference between the first two rows and the three uh, rows uh, down below. And let's continue with the grey. Hope you see if uh, you find uh, your perfect way of painting. Just do it. has been a slow process but now I think uh, I can get some uh, decent result using this technique. Let's have some more grey. Okay, let's add some more grey here. And I'm not painting with a heavy stroke because I will ruin all the pattern. I will certainly feel also the um, dark gaps, the black gaps, if uh, I was uh, going very heavy. It's starting. To change aspect and let me do it quickly again oh, obviously I did it in a rush 
so I made some mistakes when you carve the vertical lines you don't need <laughs> you must uh, stop before getting over the horizontal line but I did I did it very quickly so each time I went over the horizontal lines so every vertical lines need to start in between the two horizontal lines uh, yes I'm not perfect I never said I was perfect I do a lot of mistakes but it's good like that only doing mistakes only doing errors you will learn I hope you can see the difference uh, it is already uh, there maybe some more uh, gray down there here and here and if you want some more uh, lighter gray just insist and you will have some lighter gray like this here there some more lighter gray randomly applied let's take another small quantity of gray and let's apply some more random color here and there Okay. Let's say it's enough for the second uh, layer. I will uh, wait uh, for uh, the layer to dry. This time it will be uh, quick, quickest because uh, I haven't applied too many uh, color and it was uh, almost a dry color, not as uh, mixed with water as it was the first layer. Uh, I go wash again my brush and then I see you for the third layer. Even the second layer is dry. Yes, it is dry. I forgot to mention that this technique is suitable for grey, black, white, ivory and brown but also for blues, for green the same technique I've used to paint my river and my river bed and my banks but I've started with a darker uh, green uh, for the uh, middle of the river because it's deeper and then uh, lighter green <coughs> in proximity of the banks of the river uh, and so on with every layer one on top of the other it's a technique that you can use with any kind of uh, object any kind of color just remember to start with darkest shades darkest color up to a light their color and finally with white plain white let's add some brown we have already done black, 
gray and then brown is a little uh, lighter than gray at least this brown is a little it's in between it's in between not uh, not darker not darkest not lighter okay the brush same technique just some small amount i don't want a brown wall then i will go on the same way i use some brown here and there let's add some brown just to add some different shades color I'm going the same way as before uh, absolutely not heavy strokes Okay, I hope you can see that brown is already visible in some points. Let's add some more brown. Let's see if it is enough. One more time. I'm too quiet, I know, but just enjoy the music. It all depends on where you need the wall, on a mountain layout, on a desert layout then the colors will change obviously as you have seen me applying a gray wall to my uh, village this year I've done the same thing and just remember with those kind of techniques every wall is different you never get the same results even if you want you never will be able to get the same result with two different walls okay i think it's enough with the, the brown too let's wait just a few minutes because it is almost dry for the brown to get dry just two more steps to go uh, at this stage you can also add some other colors for example some green to simulate some kind of moss attached to the wall very lightly done some green too would be perfect for this wall now i'm going with uh, ivory mm, buff 
uh, what is called titanium buff uh, ivory Ivoire, ivory for me it's between uh, buff tan and ivory you can use uh, whatever color you want you prefer another time the same technique oops too much color my bad uh, let's bring the brush okay same technique let's go let's apply the first result here very very gentle this time okay I also use my fingers if uh, sometimes uh, I apply too much color everything is good for painting hands, brushes, fingers, everything Sometimes I also use some kind of around the strokes. Too much color here. <coughs> the stones used in the past weren't as regular as actual stones weren't as uh, precise cut as today so even some errors in the shape in the color are acceptable I'm using the same amount of color <laughs> I uh, poured just some a couple of minutes ago as I don't need to use a big amount of color this time Okay. I think uh, it's more than enough with uh, the ivory, the buff.
some more. Contrast is good. Okay. Once again, let's wait uh, some uh, minutes, no more than five minutes, I think, this time for the final layer, the white dry brush. The final step, the white dry brush. It's important that you use the hardest brush you have. This is my hardest brush and that you use the whiter white you have. I use it to simulate ice, to simulate it snow. I almost do uh, just uh, uh, Christmas villages, so it is important to have a wall that has uh, some thing to do with the winter. And winter is a synonym of ice and snow and white also helps to define uh, the border of each uh, structure you have just built and painted. Let's do it. White. Very low amount of color because you need to go extremely carefully. Too much color on the paint, on a brush, Let's check with the border. And I'm going just uh, vertically this time. It's a slow process, the white dry brushing, because otherwise you will ruin the entire wall. I'm assuming this is the top of my uh, wall. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry. Each time you have a gap, the water can infiltrate the gap. So obviously you will have some water uh, uh, flowing down from the gap and there is where some sort of ice will be formed. So this is how I simulate the ice.
some more white. I'm too quiet right now because this is quite a delicate process. You need to be focused on what you are doing. Okay, we are almost done. I am almost done. Sorry, I repeat, this is quickly done. I generally go very, very slower because I need to detail everything. I'm going, I think four times quicker than I usually do. I lack some white here, so let's have some more white. I don't like dark, too dark walls, so obviously I tend to uh, add as white as possible to the end. Okay, just a, a few more strokes and I think uh, we are uh, done uh, with uh, the dry brushing too. That's why everything is unique. I just remember the real color. I just remember you the real color of the styrofoam. Here is the difference between the two sides. Okay. Okay, I think uh, it's done. Quickly done, but you have seen me using all the techniques I generally use. And it's not as perfect as, no, not perfect. It's not as good as the wall I have actually on the uh, Christmas village, but I did 
it very 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 quickly when doing some uh, work like this you need to be patient you need to work as slowly as you can it is time consuming I know but if you want good result you need to do it slowly thank you I know I could have done it better but as a first tutorial made following your suggestions and not my outrageous ego is not that bad please don't forget to subscribe comment and give thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing my absolutely awful english and if you wish see you next time